Hi, this is Chris Hansen with Ewin Solutions. I'm one of our technical consultants here at the team. And today we're going to be looking at using a web service destination with Smart Connect. Now, we have our own built-in web service that we use with Smart Connect, um, but in this session we're going to be going through an external web service that we actually call into. So inside of Smart Connect, before we can build a map that connects to that, we actually have to set up that destination itself. Um, in a separate window. So when we go under maintenance and then hit the destination setup button, it's going to allow us to enter a new ID and then create our new web service connection to whatever URL you have. In my case, I have already created that for us and called it item data. So I'm going to load in that ID. You put in the URL that you wish to connect to for your web service. You can tell it to ignore errors if it doesn't have a standard WSDL on that. And then you also set the maximum timeout minutes. Now that is controlling how long it allows a call to run before giving you a timeout message back. So if you're going to be either sending a large amount of data or if you're using this as a data source, which we'll cover in the next section, um, you want to set this to a, a limit that's going to allow it to complete um, without timing out for you. So when I pull my web service called training service.test on here, I can see all the available um, web methods that I can go ahead and pull in. I've pulled in one called update inventory, and if I look at the properties for that, you can see that all the parameters that I've got on that um, item info, that update inventory web method, I've added here as input parameters for my map. So I'm going to be able to map to these just like we can map to a fields on an eConnect node or on a CRM entity. So once you have the one selected that you want um, listed on your web service, you're able to hit OK, save everything down, and then we can go ahead and actually create our map that goes to that web service destination. Now, I've got one created already on here called WCF Destination. The data source doesn't matter. You can pull that from wherever you want. Um, you can mix and match any data source and destination within Smart Connect. But then when I fill out the destination side of it, on here we pick web service for our destination type, and then we put in the ID that we've set up in the, in the prior step. Um, so whatever ID you put in for your web service connection, you'll want to enter that in here. So this is the same section where you can go ahead and mark the used credential box if you need to provide authentication for your web service connection. Um, you can enter your name, a password, domain on here, and it's going to go through the authentication protocols before connecting to your web service if needed. In my case, my web service has none of that, so I just have it connect directly and not worry about um, the credentials at all. So I can open up this update inventory node, so this is like an eConnect node, even though it's a web method that I've set up. And all of the fields that I listed on the setup window to put as input parameters now show up as the destination fields that I can map to. Uh, again, the same look as if you we were going to an eConnect node or a CRM entity. Um, the look is all very similar on here. Once we get the needed fields that we want mapped, I can hit OK, and then I can run this map like I would any other um, since it's a bulk map. And this is going to send all my inventory data through my web service. Now in my case, I'm pulling everything out of GP um, along with all the sites, so that's why I have almost 5,000 records. Uh, but as you can see, it's going to process that um, just fine. So hope you guys learned something on the session. Uh, the next one that I provide will be web service as a data source, which is very similar, but we'll just be taking it uh, on the other side of the integration, pulling data off of that service instead of pushing data to it. Thanks.